Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. No, you're not seeing a ghost. Yes, it has been half a year since I've been here. But we're not going to talk about that today. We'll save that for another video. Today we're going to talk about this look right here. I wanted to do a fun summer dewy, glowy, glossy look using some of my favorite products from Kalen Cosmetics. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should be, you would know that I love them. And if you follow me on Snapchat, then you would know that that stuff lasts all day. So, yeah, we're just gonna kind of jump into this. I don't really know what to say anymore in these intros because I feel like I have to explain to you guys where I've been, but we're saving that for another video. So, I love you guys and keep watching. Let me know if you like this new background, if you feel it's missing something. Oh, wah. My skull is supposed to be right there so you can see it. That's unfortunate. Okay, next video. Alright. Yeah. Bye. Okay, so I was having some technical difficulties. We're going to try this again. Get yeah, started. My camera is rocking. It's because it's on a weird stand. Um, the stand is like rubber. I don't understand it. It's whatever. We're just going to roll it, see what we can do. But we're going to go ahead and start with the brows. I normally prefer pomades, but because I'm doing a summery, more natural look, you of course don't want to have your brows stamped on with gel, basically. So I'm going to go in with the two brow powders by Kalin. This is dark brown. I believe this is ebony or charcoal. As you can see, I potted all of their shadows that I have from them, so I will have to list them down below for you guys. So I'm going to take... A mixture of the two, a little bit more of the black just because my brows are so dark. If I go in with a um, warm tone brown shade, it's going to look really weird. Well, that was lovely. I am touching my brows so light. I'm going to set my brows. I don't want to show you guys this. This is the Clean Cosmetics Clear Brow Gel. I don't want to show you it because uh, the component is clear. So you can see like how nasty it is on the inside from, you know, product getting on the brush and then going back into it. So I don't want to show you that because it's really gross. And it look dirty. That brow is so much prettier. <laughs> I'm going to take the Colleen Cosmetics Advanced Longwear Concealer in the shade Medium 1. I'm going to use this to prime my lids and to carve out my brow. I don't even really need to squeeze much out. I kind of wiped off a little bit of what was on the actual um, tube itself. Because you don't need a lot for this stuff. I mean, my favorite brush in the entire world for carving out my brows, oh my gosh, it's wearing off, is the C462. This is by Crown Brushes. You can obviously skip this step if carving your brows isn't for you or it's too that was weird I thought I was going to sneeze if it's too like sharp for you or too much makeup for you or it's just not the look that you like you don't have to but I have to clean up my brows I only do it on the bottom I don't like doing it on the top that's too harsh for me lord this will use work. That's just like an eraser for me, you know what I mean? Mm 
Boom. Much better. I'm just gonna take what's left on my hand, which is a very little bit of this, and use it to prime my lids. I love their um, eyeshadow primer as well, but because I'm not doing a full glam look, I want something closer to my skin because the only shade that they offer right now for the um, eyeshadow primer is basically like stark white, which I absolutely love to make colors pop, but because we're just being so chill, I guess you could say, I don't want to have a base that bright. I really just want to add a little bit, a little, little something, something. I'm going to take this brush by Sonia Kashuk. I don't know what it's called. I've had it for years. It's just like a little small dome brush. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Once again, I will mention them all below. I do believe this one is not creme brulee. It's not, oh my gosh, what is this called? Mocha Latte? Something. We're, we're, we're just thinking down below. We're just thinking down below. I know this one's Hugs and Kisses, the one that's next to it. I know that for a fact. This shade is a little bit cooler and ashier than my skin tone, but I just like to lay something down. And when I have one like a true eyeshadow base, you can obviously see it much better. This one is Desert Sands. This orangey color. That one's, we're gonna dip with the same brush and do the same thing. Like I said, we don't need much. We're not, we're not here for this. We just want a look of something. You know what I mean? I'm going to stop there because I will go hammer time and end up with a lime green smoky eye and we don't have time for that today. So I'm taking the mineral eye dust in the shade Champagne. I will be doing, I will be posting swatches of all of these later. But just to show you guys, I literally just dipped it on my finger. It is so pretty. That's with no product underneath it, you know what I mean? Like no glitter adhesive or anything like that. No Fix Plus. And I'm just going to take this. I'm doing a light wash. If you look at my Instagram, you've seen me do other looks with these. Because I'm truly obsessed with these. And normally with my other looks, I will use like a NYX glitter glue or... Fix Plus or setting spray or something to make it um, more intense, but we just want a little something. Let me uh, bring it up the sides a bit more. Just trust me, this bad boy can make a statement. I just love how pretty and effortless this looks. I love how you can make these look girly and like whimsical or you could go like hardcore and use this to like cut your crease and be a total glam, like glam freak. Where's my primer? Oh. Just kidding. I'm using Colleen Cosmetics Velvet Veil Primer. I refuse to use any other primer since I got this one. The only time that I will not use this is if I'm doing like a no makeup makeup day and then I'll just use like moisturizer, but this stuff literally feels like velvet. I remember one time I was on Facebook Live and I was like, this primer is so amazing. It feels like velvet. Hold on, I'll tell you guys what it's called. And it was called Velvet Veil. I was like, good job, Jasmine. Good job. Now that stuff had a lot of fallout because I just used it with my finger, but since we're being glowy, who cares? I'm taking my Josie Maron foundation in the shade Fearless. I 
I love this foundation. It's a little pricey, but it is super full coverage. That was only three drops. And I like how wet you look because it has the argan oil in it. So next I'm going to go back to the Clean Cosmetics Concealer for under my eyes and down my nose and you know everywhere else that I just want to rub it on my face. Lower lash line action? I think we should do it. Let's do it. Let's do some lower lash line action. I'm going to take my little flat brush. It's the Morphe M432 in that desert sand shade. And just go right under the lash line. Then I'm going to take a little pencil brush in the shade Hugs and Kisses, which is this one right here. See this pinky, frosty color, and we're going to hit the inner corners, of course. I'm taking the Kalan Cosmetics Mascara, and I'm honestly not the biggest fan of this mascara. I just wanted to volumize a little bit more because I have like really short stubby lashes, so I just wish it volumized them more, but I'm not really looking for thickness today. So, yeah. Not too much thickening, but it makes them long. Well, as long as long can get for me. I have really short lashes. My eyes getting watery. And I have to sneeze. <laughs> wow, I sneezed myself out of focus. That's impressive. That's, my sneezes are ridiculous, I know. I'm going to bronze my face with the Black Radiance Bronzer. Well, it's the True Complexion Contour Palette. And I'm just going to take the Sculpt shade to bronze. Um, the shade that I have from Kalin for bronzer is not the right color for me. It's too light. So, we're bronzing with this today. Let me see. Come on. There we go. My camera's doing this. I'm telling you. Gotta figure out another system. But like the lights are attached to the stand on this thing. I'm gonna turn around and show you the camera. Like show you how it looks, but then you would see how messy this room is. And we're just not that close yet. Y'all can't see that side of me yet. Mm-hmm. Bruns. Bruns. Makes me happy. Am I still too bright? It's weird. I think the brighter it looks the better, but I guess because I have my ceiling fan light on too. We're gonna make it work, people, because I've been back. Just work with me. I'm gonna take this brush right here from Palladium Tools, and it is the 968 brush and the blush in Georgia Peach. I love this blush. It's like a corally peach shade with like a um, like reflex of gold in it. Don't mind my nails. They're getting done on Friday. Let's see what I was doing. 
Mm-hmm. 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 Probably my favorite blush. This one and another one, but that one's discontinued, so. Sorry. Now for the fun part. Highlight. I'm taking the Camo Glow in the shade, it's on the cap, bronze. I am going to take this on here. And a lot of people, I feel like might be intimidated by this because when you put it on it has color, but then it goes away if you blend it out properly. If you just let it sit on your face, it's gonna show. But if you blend it properly, it doesn't stay that way. Because the first time I used it, it was dark on me and I was like, oh, whoa, whoa, what are we doing here? See, it has color. But you just keep... Tap, tap, tapping. And do it quickly because the stuff sets quickly. And I have been a victim. Look at how beautiful that is. You could totally wear this alone. On like a literal, like on a true no makeup makeup day, not my version of a no makeup makeup day. And it would just look so healthy, like so beautiful. And I mixed it with foundations because sometimes I don't always want to use my Josie Maron. Um, sometimes I'll use a matte foundation and mix that in it. And it still gives me that luminous skin like glow. And I'm obsessed. And yes, I'm putting more. Do not judge me. It's just, it's who I am, okay? I just think that is so pretty. If you were lighter than me and you use this like as a liquid bronzer, I think that would look stunning. But because this is like so close to my skin tone, it just looks wet and healthy on me. But I'm If you were lighter, Ooh, liquid bronzer. Oh my god, it'd be like J-Lo all over the place. I'm going to highlight with my favorite highlight from them. This is their Floral Shimmer in Angelic Peach. And their shimmers are supposed to be a little less, like, blinding. Their illuminators are really blinding. But if you use this and this with a big brush, it works. It gets blinding. Please hold. Yeah, like I said. I remember when I first tried it, I was like, this isn't blinding. And then I mixed it, and I was like, ha. Yes, I'm extra, and I use a powder brush for my entire face to highlight. I love it. I love it. I'm going to set my face with the next Dewy setting powder, the Kalin one. It's an amazing setting powder, and my best friend, I let her borrow some Kalin products, and by the time I got them back, it was empty. For lips, we're going to do a simple combo. We're going to use the Buff Lip Liner and the Allure Lip Gloss. I'll bring you guys here. This gloss is really pigmented. It's kind of difficult to use as like a topper because you're going to alter the color. But they're not sticky. And they're super wet looking. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. I love it. Don't you just want to kiss me? Love it? No? Okay. That's rude. But yeah, this is the final look, you guys, using the Kalim products that I absolutely love. I will, one of these days, do a full review on all the products that I have of why I like some of them and why I don't like others, whether it's the formula or the color or just not for me. But this is the final look to get a summery, dewy, glowy, natural face. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and... Thanks for sticking around if you've waited 
about half a year for me. I really appreciate that. I love you guys. Bye.